hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some it's not and the fair act uses in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all so it looks like we are going to enjoy another um paw session y'all <laughs> it looks like we about to get another paw session so they are saying that arrow spence has activated the rematch clause and we'll have another paw session with terence crawford again this is what they're saying it is now official that there will be a rematch okay y'all Somebody in the comment section said he almost put you in a body bag, bro. Sometimes you got to just leave it alone. But see, we talking about a crew of people that just can't leave people alone. And they can't leave things alone. This is why, you know, things happen the way they happen for certain people in Dallas in the first place. Okay, y'all. Um, So he asking for another round. Basically, y'all. So get ready. I'm gonna be ready this time because I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna make sure I pay for the fight. This I mean I'm a, I'm gonna pay for it this time. I'm definitely gonna pay for it this time. Okay, y'all. Um, I want to see every minute of it. I really do because um I enjoyed that. I watched that so many times. It's ridiculous, y'all. And I don't even be into you know fights like that since um Tyson really stopped stopped. I kind of left it alone. I told y'all Tyson used to always his matches used to always be on my birthday. But now, um, you know, I'm starting to get into them again, y'all. Terrence, they made me feel a little like, you know, want to see a little, you know, pause session. So we gonna do, we gonna see it again, y'all. We gonna see it again. And I got a feeling that the same thing gonna happen again. It really is. I got a feeling that he's gonna do the same thing he did last time once again. He just begging for punishment, ain't he, y'all? <laughs> and speaking of punishment, let me give y'all the update. On, you know, um, the beef that was a brewing and how everybody was coming at me for no reason out of all these years. You you come in and start taking down my videos and all this stuff and act as if I'm, you know, I'm your enemy all of a sudden. Okay, y'all. So remember I did the video yesterday and um, I said I'm going to let you sleep on it tonight and in the morning let's see what you're going to do. Okay. Um, so this morning, you know, I like to keep my, you know, subscribers informed on what's going on. So this morning I received, you know, a message from this particular person that I was talking about. And um, I'm going to just be completely honest with y'all. He was pointing the fingers at everybody else but himself. And I'm going to say this. If another blogger or a couple of bloggers came to you and tried to start a beef between me and you, only thing you had to do was reach out to me. If you didn't, or if you didn't reach out to me, you could have went to my videos and see that I haven't done no new videos on you whatsoever. You wasn't even being thought of on my page, less known, you know, trying to take your page down and all of that stuff. So after, you know, he, from what he's explaining to me is that, you know, the same bloggers that try to pay him to come, you know, find me and all this stuff, it's the same blogger that, and a, a couple of more, that got together and they start sending me messages. No, at first he said they sent him a message saying that I said something bad about him, which made him come at my page by making him take the videos down. Okay, y'all. Um, <clears throat> a grown man shouldn't be sent off like that. You know, I know it's a lot of messy people out here. It's messy subscribers. It's messy bloggers. All that. Okay. If somebody, if people have came to me and said, oh, so-and-so, so-and-so said this about you. You know what I do if I really cared about it? I would go up to their page to check it out to see if they said anything new about me. And if they haven't said anything about me, that's when I kind of just leave things be. Okay? I don't let people just send me off like that. And he did. This is something that he did. He let them send him off. And I don't quite understand that. Because, you know, I haven't done anything to you, said anything to you, none of that stuff, okay? But, um, he said, this is what he's saying, y'all, that they actually told him I said something. This is why he started getting my videos taken down. And he said that after I put up the video yesterday, 
that made him you know um rethink everything and he said he went on you know particular you know people's pages and he found out that they were lying and trying to start a beef between me and him and he said that he was going to reach out to i'm just telling y'all because y'all you know i'll be trying to keep y'all informed he said that he was going to reach out to um youtube and let them know that, you know, people are trying to get, you know, get me and him beefing. And, you know, he is going to, um, you know, make sure that they get in trouble for what they did. Okay, y'all. Now, y'all tell me in the comment section what y'all think. Do y'all think, you know, it has something to do with, you know, a little something, something. And me saying a little a something, something about um, <clears throat> I'm going to, you know, let the cat out the bag. Do you think the uncle or somebody probably um, said, I don't want to be in the middle of your stuff, so straighten this mess out so they get to putting out information about me and I ain't had nothing to do with it and I don't want nobody coming looking for me because you scamming them for their money and stuff like that? Do y'all think that there's a possibility that um, this is what was going on? See, a lot of people like to call your bluff. This is why I say, you know, I didn't grow up in a household that, you know, somebody, you know, give you a little tap on the cheek and you turn the other cheek. I didn't grow up in that type of household. I grew up in a type of household that if I went to school and somebody was messing with me and they're my size or even a little bit bigger and I go home and tell my mama or my grandma on them that somebody messing with me, they would tell me it's going to be two people messing with you if you don't go out there and take care of your business. Okay. And you have to think about this. You know, do I want somebody in my classroom to put paws on me or do I want to go home and get some paws put on me? And, you know, that gave me courage, y'all, to go out there and break somebody off because I didn't want to get no, no, you know, no spanking when I got home. <laughs> okay. And this is the type of person that I've always had to be because this is the type of family that I grew up around. You know, I grew up around Big Mama and Big Mama didn't play that. Okay, you stand up to people. You don't you don't run away from nobody. You stand your ground. And this is what I did, okay? And I think that when I said that I had people's information, they thought I was bluffing. And when I put out the video yesterday saying, you know, some cities and states where I know your people at, you know, everything just calmed down and just poof, went away in thin air. Now you're trying to be nice again. Now you're saying that you're a victim as well as I am and, and you didn't really won't have no beef with me. And, you know, these certain bloggers are trying to get people's pages taken down and it, you're blaming a finger on everybody else. But the thing of it is, you know, why would you listen to anybody else if they sent you off? Why would you just go target somebody that have not even been saying anything about you? Now, this is your circle of people that you deal with, not mine. So why come for me? But like I said, you know, I, I, I told Freddie, I told Freddie Davis yesterday, I said, do something about your people. Do something about your people because he is going to bring y'all in a world of stuff. OK, and all of a sudden now everybody wants to tuck their tail and back away, y'all. OK, they want to back away and say, you know, we good. I ain't going to call for you. you. You don't say nothing else about me. I ain't going to say nothing about you. We good. Blah, 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 blah. But this is what happened last time. Y'all, if y'all, you know, my day ones, twos, and three, y'all know what happened last time with the whole shadingi. When I was like, okay, do you want me to start releasing the stuff that you get? You sent to me. And then it calmed down then. And now here we go again. And I'm, and I'm still going to be completely honest with you. I think that all of this has something to do, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, with Mo3 case coming up. This is why I was a target in the first place. This is what I feel in my heart of hearts that I was a target about you, you and your other little minions because of the fact that I'm releasing stuff to the public because it's not just you doing this. You know, we got the movie guy going to bloggers pages and trying to clear his name now um, and calling me all on my name and all of that stuff. I never said that the movie guy actually lined Mo3 up, but I did say that this movie played a big part in keeping up with the dates and all of this stuff for Mo3, for them to line Mo3 up. Now, when I said about the movie guy, I had proof that, you know, you are all on the same friends list with Trap Boy Freddy's people, 
okay? His brother and all of this stuff. I didn't lie about that. That's why I showed it to y'all. If I would have just said it, it would have been a difference. People could have been like, oh, that's not true. But I showed y'all the friends list. They're all on the same friends list. So what did I lie about, okay? And mind y'all, I don't know that y'all hear the interview. It wasn't really much of an interview. But I found out something new about what happened with the whole situation with Mo3 as well, okay? I found out that not only was, you know, the Jones guy producing the movie, but um, Rainwater w was a producer for this movie as well, y'all. I didn't know that. I never knew that Rainwater was part of the management team of this movie. And this is why, you know, a part, of, probably part of the reason why that Mo3, you know, um, and him and Mo3 had a little argument before he came back to go um, meet up with them. Now, there were rumors that, you know, Mo3 was going to meet up with them for the do the last scene and all of this other stuff. Now, they let another little cat out the bag. He said that Mo3 really didn't need to come finish up nothing. He said it might have been a minute or so left in the movie for him to do, but they, it was it didn't make the movie or break the movie um, if he wouldn't have showed up. So why did they pressure him to come back so bad? Ask yourself that question. Um, they also asked him, did he feel like that he was going to be brought in for questioning about anything? And he was like, no, nah, he don't think so. Well, if that's the case, why are you supposed to be so much of an important person? And I'm lying on y'all. Why in the world did you uh, run to jump on, you know, the bloggers channels from Dallas now to clear your name? If I said something so bad about you. OK. And like I told you, I heard this out of his own mouth that, you know, Mr. Speed and them helped him, you know, write in that movie, okay? But he acted as if that Mo3 was not even needed. This is what he said, y'all, at his own mouth on that page over there when he just came forward after I put up that video. Um, If you wasn't worried about my video, why are you coming out to say something? And they said that I have too much time on my hand and I'm going to people's Facebook and, and pulling up all of their messages and these people were just clout chasing. Um, I'm going to ask y'all this question. Why in the world would many me be saying, send me y'all cash apps if nobody even put in work to do anything? That makes no sense. So, um, y'all, yeah, they getting caught up now. And you're seeing now that they are truly lying, okay? They are truly lying back and forth and back and forth. And um, these bloggers that's playing all of these games on the internet, um, they said they they going to come. It really is. Their day is going to come. But I just wanted to let y'all know um, the beef is over. But I still, you know, got my guards up. But the beef is allegedly over. And he's now is going to put in, you know, a, plank, a complaint on YouTube and um, on the other guys that tried to get his page taken down and get bring brought me into it as well. Okay. He said he was a victim too. All right, y'all. So I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on. Everything that cooled off now. Okay. Ain't nobody want the smoke that they thought they wanted. Okay. But I, like I said, when I put up them cities and states of all of your, you know, your people where they at, then now all of a sudden, you know, he's waving a flag and throwing in a towel. Okay, y'all. And saying that, you know, that's just leave it where it is because I don't consider him an enemy. You know, I consider you somebody I would never trust because you call yourself trying to find me. You put up lies about me on YouTube and all of this stuff. Okay. But I still have went on about my business and this guy have not even been thought of. Okay. But, you know, he just told me I'm not his enemy and he's going to, you know, leave me alone. Okay, y'all, this is what he just said. So I was just letting y'all know what was going on um, with the whole situation. Okay, because y'all ain't going to hear me talking about it no more unless, you know, they want some more smoke. Other than that, I'm going to leave it alone and I'm going to continue to put my videos up and do what I do. And I hopefully he continues to do what he do and go on about his business. Okay, y'all. So we're going to leave it at that for now. Okay, y'all. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching. And y'all, let me know what y'all think. Did, do y'all what? What's the real reason that he took this tail and decided to go on about his business? Okay, y'all. Y'all like that comment section up and let me know what y'all think. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching. Peace.